I feel movement on top of me and my eyes fly open. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> We're both still in bed, but Kauri's awake right on top of me. <laughs> Is she like, uh, I don't know, sleepwalking? I mean, sleep awake or something? Oh, yeah, she is. <laughs> um, um, Kari, are you drunk? But I don't remember you drinking, <laughs> Kari. But what's this all of a sudden? <laughs> why are your why is your shirt unbuttoned? And why are you like, like showing off your laundry, <laughs> laundry? You know <laughs> why? <laughs> um, you okay, Kari? She's drunk or sleep sleepwalking or something. A gaze holds my own as she spatters my hips. The red lingerie teases me from beneath her unbuttoned shirt. We are orange lingerie, her favorite color orange. And orange eyes, orange hair. What? With the tarnation? Her eyes sparkle and she wears a devilish smile. Gentle fingers trail down my chest. Her every touch lights a deep fire within me. Wait, trails down my chest. Is it on the shirt or like... Is she like lifting up Tristan's shirt and actually stroking his chest? <laughs> you seem tense. Are we okay? I don't remember you getting drunk yesterday. I'm flustered, tense in my pants. I'm speechless. I'm going this, okay? Make no mistake about it, okay? I feel a tightness grow underneath where she sits. Oh right, a tightness indeed. <laughs> yeah, not just my tightness, but also her tightness. She raises an eyebrow and amused smirk on her face. It's the tenseness of happiness. Mm. It's so awkward, but <laughs> she looks coy. Maybe you could use a massage. Um, and where? What exactly are you gonna massage? <laughs> she lays her hands flat against my chest and slowly leans forward, pulling my gaze down to red lace. Wait, what? My gaze, oh my god, my gaze down to red lace and soft skin. Her back arches delicately as my hands run across her hips. <sighs> You're touching her. Her hair tickles my face, the smell of her shampoo sweet and intoxicating. Wait, but how can we still smell her shampoo when she showered last night? <laughs> Usually you would think that the, the shampoo smell would be like already gone, right? <laughs> but I mean throughout the whole night, but, but well anyway, unless it's maybe it's the cold Maybe it's because it's the cold winter, so you know the, the shampoo smell doesn't go off go off that quickly. Like the, the, the country that I live in, because the country that I live in is tropical all year round. Yeah, so it's you know it's summer all year round, so and, and humid, yeah. Her lips full and enticing hover above me. I lean in but she's really put back. The shirt hangs off of her, strategically covering just enough to make my knee rise. Yeah. She's unintentionally teasing me. <laughs> her sleeve falls off of her shoulder. Oh! She shrugs the other sleeve off too, letting it pull down at her hips. Oh, her shirt's off! Before discarding it. <gasps> her shirt's off! <laughs> so it's like, sleep off the, the, the sleeve. Oh, shrugs off. And now the shirt's off. Now she's in her under underwear. Yes, lingerie. Fit from her covering, I drink in the shape of curves as my hand, hands trace her body. Her hands run up my chest again as she leans close. Might as well take off Tristan's shirt, you know? <laughs> her body arches against mine, her skin gently caressing me like a whisper. Just take off Tristan's shirt, or my shirt. A low growl escapes me as I grab her. She gasps as, if, as she falls into me in her gaze on my lips. Kiss me! I wonder what sort of perverted thoughts you're having right now. You must have perverted, perverted thoughts too, right? She wears an impish smile. She's pressed up against me, chest to chest. My heart beats so fast, I'm sure she can feel it. Uh, 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 why, why are you cutting off here? <laughs> her lips are just an inch away. So close, just snatch her. <laughs> Suddenly, I've jerked away. Sunlight filters across my eyes, but there's no fiery red hair inside. Oh, god damn it, it's just a dream. What the heck? What? Curry? What? Nothing. <laughs> she glares at me sitting on the edge of the bed, much more dressed than in my imagination. You've been calling my name but not saying anything else. Because I miss you. <laughs> it takes a moment for my brain to catch up with reality. 
Memories of the teasing smile begin to fade away, or drift away. Does not compute. <laughs> go back to sleep now! It was all a dream? Hmm. I want you to go back to sleep now. No, 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 not now! I'm going back to sleep! I squeeze my eyes shut again and wail myself back. Yeah, back to sleep. Images of covering the lingerie three surface. The hands on my chest. The hair falling over my face. My lips. What are you doing? Um, imagining you. I sigh and open my eyes again. Nothing. I just had a really vivid dream. She pauses. Was it about me? Yeah. In a good way. I, I was dream dreaming about you in a good way. Totally. Oh yeah. What was it about? <laughs> um, it's kind of a band thing, being a sexy tease. I'm not sure I should say it. Just, just be direct with her, okay? I'm going to say, I'm going to tease her by saying you're, you're being a sexy tease. And stop the smile from spreading on my face as I remember the tree. The vivid tree. You were amazing. <laughs> look, look at Kari's face, shocked. You wore this sexy red lacy underwear, lingerie. You started to give me a massage and then my jo my voice trails off as the fire within me grows again. Harry's eyes are white, stunned. Maybe you should do a live demonstration. Her face turns as red as a lingerie. She punches me in the arm. Oh! Stop being a pervert! <laughs> Why not? I mean eventually we will have to do this together. Uh, unless you you only want me to do this with you after marriage, not now. But okay, but you know we'll be missing out. <laughs> I can't help what I dream. She seems flustered and quickly rises to her feet. All that means is that subconsciously you're a super big, lewd pervert. Oh yeah, I mean I mean you're a fan of anime, right? And you know anime have anti right? So <laughs> that's beside the point, but. <laughs> First of all, I will not necessarily disagree with that. But secondly, in my wildest fantasies where I can literally think of anything or anyone, real or imagined, I saw you. Hari is taken aback. Her cheeks redden and she looks away. The anger from before melts off of her face. Fine. Whatever. I don't care anymore. <laughs> Why? Why don't you care anymore? I I'm going to go downstairs. Come down when you're ready. Alright. And she hurries out of the room. My heart is still pounding and I need a moment to relax and collect myself. But that actually didn't end too badly. Yeah, it was a great dream. Taking my time, I get ready for the day, then go downstairs and join the family for a late breakfast. We decide to just relax and take it easy today. I wonder what day it is already. Is it like near the, near the, the end of the year? Tori's dad disappears into the garage to work more on his figurines while her mother and sister decide to go out. So now it's just Kauri and me time. Yeah, no longer her family. Her family not so much anymore. That just leaves me and Kauri in the bedroom. But we are not in the bedroom, we're in the living room now. <laughs> Alone. Without interruption. Reminders of the dream we go back into my brain. And I slide Kauri a look. Feeling my gaze on her, she glances at me. <laughs> Shiva's grease spreads across my face. Kari narrows her eyes. Don't even think about it. Why not? Hey. Instead, she pulls out her laptop again so we can continue watching Ninja Rangers. All right, that that's cool too. It turns out we only managed to watch one episode last night because we were too tired, right? Yeah, before we fell asleep. All right, we're back in the bedroom. Leaning back on the bed, I stretch out my arm leaving a space for Kauri to feel like a puzzle she fits perfectly beside me and we begin watching. The more we watch, the more we become absorbed with the show. Kauri was right. They did and introduce a new character, Enchantra, the Ranger of Charm. Enchantra, the Ranger of Charm? I wonder what color she is. I presume it's a she, yeah? Probably purple? She's a beautiful and busty character who wears the same skin tight uniform as the others. Oh, skin tight and busty. <laughs> Ability is to persuade others to do the right thing. Hari rolls her eyes. It 
gets annoying when a good show decides to go overboard on fan service. Well, it's to appeal to those, you know, those otakus, you know. Those otakus play for saxophone, okay? They play for, yes, fan service, okay? Besides, her power doesn't even really fit in with the others. But come on now, just... I know, I know you're trying to, like... Uh, trying to take things seriously. I know you take anime very seriously, so you care about the story and all that. Me personally, I do, but I can also enjoy some like hearted moe anime, you know. Not all of them, just specific ones. <laughs> like K-On, you know, and maybe Love Life, yes. Forte is pretty hot too. And Chan is just as enchanting as a day. Maybe she'll surprise you. Yeah, I'll go with this one. A shark. She's only just been introduced. Maybe she's got a hidden ability or something we find out about later on. Even before this hidden ability is something that's got to do with fan service. <laughs> it's unfair to judge her before she's had a chance to shine. Probably house, but reluctantly agrees. I guess that's true. We haven't really had a chance to learn much about her. But her backstory better be good. Yeah, it better be. Time gets away from us as we power through episode after episode. Even with the divided introduction of the new character, the season is still good. Alright, and dinner? We stop when we hear the call for dinner. I spot a large pot in the middle of the table. This looks different. Ah, I think I know what kind of dinner this is. This is what you, you call in Japanese, uh, nabe. Yeah, actually, nabe means, you know, hot pot. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's basically steamboat, you know, but Japanese style. We thought that since it's so cold outside, we'd have Shabu Shabu tonight. Yeah, I mean, Nabe such as Shabu Shabu. Shabu Shabu is also a kind of steamboat where you, you know, put meat. The kind of Shabu Shabu, I think it's 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 lean meat if I remember correctly. It's why it's called yeah, Shabu Shabu. It's really delicious, yeah. Ayame notes that she helps her mother bring out plates of raw meat and vegetables. Or oh, it's part of greens, yeah. This is Shabu Shabu steamboat. Or pot pot. What an excellent idea. Nothing quite warms the soul like some hot soup. That, that you know, steamboat or hot pot that's usually soup, yes. Nabe is hot soup, you know, with shabu shabu meat and all. Making me hungry now. We gather around the pot of boiling soup, chatting happily while cooking our food. After our valleys are full, we help clean up and then rest for a bit. It's been nice having the whole family together again. Oh, you mean usually the whole family isn't together? Oh yeah, I mean, well, barring Kauri, Kauri's always at the Ace Academy, yeah. Plus a bonus member. Oh, me. <laughs> Naomi, he's practically family at this point. Wow, wow, so you you actually acknowledge me. Oh, so that means you have my wishes, you have the blessings of, you have, uh, I have your blessings to marry your daughter? Kauri's mother pats my head, uh, my hand, reassuringly. You are welcome here at any time. Nice. Thanks. Well, I was thinking it would be nice to have a family game night again. It's pretty rare that we have all of you back at once. What do you say? That's cool. Maybe a uh, game of life. Yeah, game of life is always a, a great game to play for a family. Ayami lights up. That's a great idea, Dad. Now, Naomi nods. Remember the game One Night Vampire? What? You kids used to love it growing up. Why are we playing a Halloween board game in Christmas? <laughs> in the in the winter season, no. How he smiles fondly. It's been forever since I played that. All right, but I hope it's fun. If everyone else wants to play something, then I'm happy to play too. All right, sounds like that's settled. Ayami goes to collect the game while Kauri's dad faces me. Do you know how to play One Night Vampire? No, I actually don't. I'm an expert. A refresher would be helpful, yeah. Unless there's going to be a mini game here, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so. How do you play? All right. We'll play a simple version with fewer roll cards. There are villagers, vampires, a rabble rouser, a burglar, oh. and a soothsayer. This seems like a you know the kind of. Dungeons and Dragons kind of game, yeah, role-playing game. The vampires are pretty self-explanatory. 
The rabble rouser will cause trouble by switching two cards. The burglar will exchange their card with another Wait. player. And then look at that new card. What do you mean the vampires are pretty self-explanatory? All I know about vampires is that they suck blood. But <laughs> what does that have to do with the card game? And the soothsayer can either look at one person's card or look at two cards in the center. So you're saying that the vampire just attacks? Some, is, is that it? At night, each role will be called to do an action. So just make sure you listen to the narrator on what action you should do. Hmm, okay. During the day, everyone discusses and tries to guess who the vampires are. I see. Whoever is voted a vampire is considered staked. Voted? What do you mean? Oh, voted as in whoever guesses that this person is a vampire and if it turns out to be right, then this vampire is considered staked. The villagers win if at least one vampire dies. The vampires win if they are all alive. So how many vampires are there going to be? I mean, there are like, how many players are there here? Like, there are like, five players, yeah? Wait, no. Uh, six players. Uh, Kauri's parents, her sisters, herself, and Tristan. So six players. Sounds simple enough. We set up the game and Kauri's dad shuffles the deck. Oh, I think this is going to be a choice game, so let's hope for the best. Then he passes out the rows, leaving the remaining cards in the center of the table. I pick at my card and my heart races. I'm the vampire! Yeah, that's my luck. I'm a vampire. All right. It is now the first night. Everyone close your eyes. Okay. I close my eyes like I'm told to do. Vampires, wake up and look for your kin. My kin? <laughs> I do, and so does Kauri. Oh, hey! We glance at each other, then smile. This is perfect. It must be destiny that we are on a team together. Kauri's dad tells us to close our eyes. He cycles through the other rows and then the night phase is over. Night one over. Everyone open your eyes. You can now discuss. Kauri blinks open her eyes and looks around the room. She speaks before anyone else has a chance to start. One of the vampires is now me. Oh. <laughs> now me looks at Kauri. Just randomly throwing around accusations. Oh, oh, oh Naomi is angry. <laughs> I bet you're the vampire. Kauri's face reddens. Yeah, yeah, why are you accusing Kauri? Come on now, Naomi. Oh no, I need to say something before she gives us away. Back up and accuse Naomi. Pretend you're the soothsayer. Actually, I should, should stay silent. <laughs> uh, wait. But if I back up and accuse Naomi. Um, that would it seem quite obvious. Uh, hmm. But what's a soothsayer again? Let me, let me just check. Uh, a person supposed to be able to foresee the future? What does this mean though? Pretend I, I can see the future or something? Hmm. What? Um, I guess I'll just back up and accuse Naomi though. I mean, even if we lose, it doesn't matter. It's just a game, you know? So, I'm gonna have this bond, you know? Now, who's the one being quick to accuse? You're, very, you're being very defensive. That's very suspicious. And you're really quick to back up Kauri. I bet you two are both the vampires. Oh, what? It makes no sense, you know? Oh, well, that doesn't mean anything. As her boyfriend, he has to support Kauri. Yeah, precisely. Thank you, Tophia. <laughs> That's right. Which means Kauri is still the vampire, even if he isn't. Uh, what? Does that even make sense, though? No, I'm not. Yeah, no. Her voice is rough as she glances at her sisters. They green. Look how upset she is. It's obviously not her. Oh no, now now you're give, kind of giving it away, Tristan. You shouldn't say something like that. But at least, at least it's good to see that Tristan is defending Kauri. It's her! Kauri's a terrible liar. It's not me! I'm a villager! Yeah. That's exactly what a vampire would claim to be. Oh yeah? So you're a vampire then, right? You seem to know a lot about what it means to be a vampire, Naomi. Is that because you are one? <laughs> wow, what way to twist it? Yeah! That's why you keep falsely accusing me! So this is the kind of one night game one night vampire is? It's like some kind of a debate debating game? Let's not forget the person who started the false accusations here. 
Okay, alright, now these things are starting to heat up. It, it's not false. Come, come down, Kauri, come down. Kauri is as red as a tomato. She glances at me for help, but I'm unsure of how to respond. Oh dear. I believe the two of them hey. are actually the vampires. Sophia, what the hell are you saying now? What? No! Why would you think that, Mom? Yeah, why would you think that? You keep looking at each other, honey. So what? We're just boyfriend and girlfriend. That's just because we like each other so much, yeah. Go kiss her, Tristan. She merely smiles. It sounds like we're about to be done here. Everyone show your votes. We might lose though, because there are only like two vampires, right? Then four against two. Sure lose. <laughs> they unanimously point at Tauri. Oh god damn it, all four. The daytime round ends and we all flip over our cards. Naturally, Kari and, Kari and I have the vampire cards. Ha! I knew it. Oh well, we lost. But it's okay. Kari scowls and crosses her arms. This was just a warm-up round. Yeah, warm-up round, alright. Although I lost this time, I can... I know I can redeem myself in the next round. Yeah, we totally can. What? We play a few more rounds, rotating narrators and roll cards. How is that had the best poker face of the night? Yeah, nothing beats poker faces. No one could tell if he was bluffing or not. With lots of laughter, we continue to play long into the night. Eventually, our heads grow very wary and it becomes difficult to concentrate. We decide to pack it in for the night. Sp uh, splitting our what? What? Splitting our separate ways? That that, that sounds that doesn't sound right. Going our separate ways, we return to our bedrooms and get ready for bed. I flop onto the bed and before long, I am fast asleep. Alright, it's the next day. My brain still feels a little fuzzy when I wake up the next day. I groan, stretching out across the mattress. Huh? Where did Kauri go? Where Kauri's gone again. <laughs> Missing from the bed. I rub my eyes. The sun is bright and shining in here, making everything look brighter and pinker, pinkier than, or pinker than normal. What time is it anyway? I lean over and grab my phone from the nightstand. Is the afternoon already? How did I manage to sleep in so late? Wait, are you really? Were you really that tired, uh, Tristan? I hear the door open. When I look up, Tori blinks in the doorway. You're finally awake. Oh, you look happy. Uh, yeah. I smile and rub the back of my neck, sheepish. I guess I was pretty tired from the game last night. She nods, then she crosses the room for her purse. She throws it over her shoulder. I realize she's already got a jacket and a hat on. Where are you going? What's the plan for today? Oh, I have to help my mom pick up some things for tonight. Some things? Okay, I'll come with you. She shakes her head. No need. We've got it covered. You can stay here and relax. You, you look happy though. Hmm. I glance around the room wondering what I, what I could do to amuse myself. Hori seems to guess my thoughts as she picks up her laptop. Okay, I can play with the laptop, sure. I have some shows on here if you want to take a look. I also have a couple of games. Alright. Uh, if you have any vision of us, you can introduce them to me too. <laughs> The game would be fun, what do we have? She feeds it for a minute before holding it to me. Ninja Rangers. Oh, I know. Huh? She clicks around before pulling something up. I glance at it. What's this? It's a visual novel. The story is really good. Wow, I, I'm so spot on. So you do love vision novels after all too, Curry nice. What's this vision of her? Is it Ace Academy? No, I don't think it's Ace Academy. No, it, it can't be Ace Academy. I'm, I think it's crystalline. It's definitely crystalline. 100%. <laughs> A vision of her? That sounds fun. I can make up some kind of opening theme song with some anime dudes. Sure, I'll check it out. Great. Alright. Let's read the crystalline vision of her all over again. She packs me on the cheek. I'll be back soon, okay? Have fun. Alright, I'll have fun. I will temporarily marry all those uh, waifus in the vision order. 
And she walks out of her room and let her sigh and plop backwards onto her bed. I guess this I guess this is what I'll be doing then. I see that. And I scoot back into the pillows, typing up the vision novel on her laptop. I screen at the title. Crystalline. Wait, what? Magical Messenger? What's mess What's Magical Messenger? What the heck? This is an Otome! Oh Well, I don't hate Otome, but I'm not exactly a fan of Otome either. I'm like I, I don't really hate it, but I that's not inclined to play Otome games. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, in case you don't know what Otome means, I'm sure you know what Otome means. In case you don't know, Otome means reverse harem. Basically a girl and many guys. Many many handsome guys. They tend to be really handsome, yes. <laughs> so there's a bit of shoujo y feel to it, yes. Well, it is Paris game. I suppose that makes sense. I guess I'll still play it. The start to this uh, the, to this game is weird. Apparently I'm some girl and I find a random phone. Some stranger is texting me and telling me to break into someone's apartment. Why? <laughs> to return it? Why not just turn the phone in to the lost and found? Now, now, now here's the thing Trista. If, if, if the girl just turns the phone in to the lost and found, then there wouldn't be a story in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> then it'd be the end, then she won't meet any uh, handsome dudes. Okay, wow. We actually broke into a stranger's apartment. But no one is here? Oh, now the mysterious phone is blowing up. Somehow I'm getting sucked into a messenger app. There's a bunch of ridiculously good looking guys texting me at once and trying to figure out what I'm doing here because it's a private messaging app. Interesting. Apparently these characters were uh, were part of a charity organization until the founder Ria died. Oh, let me guess, this Ria is also a uh, female, right? <laughs> a woman, right? Uh, the leader of this chat room, Zack or Z, was her fiancé for her untimely death. I'm supposed to wait around for him to show up and figure out what's going on, and until then they want me to try to organize a charity party and take over Ria's unfinished work. And along the way, I get to find romance. Hmm, who should I go for? Seriously? Am I seriously going to choose? The college Lolita student, Yo Song Kimi. The comedian and computer hacker, Elo 8. The cool distant rich guy, Jimin Han. The charmer, Zen. And the only lady in this game, Jae King. There's even a lady! <laughs> hey, I'm not really into Otome, but I don't mind Yuri. <laughs> I'm going with this. Alright, yes, let's go. I have the option to romance another girl in this game. I know which route I'm doing. Find out from the chat room that Jehee is Jimin Han's assistant. He's constantly overworking her on ridiculous chinchilla team projects. Okay, chinchilla. Uh, since he's obsessed with his own pet chinchilla, uh, Victoria the third. I decided to send her a text in the chat room one day. Hey, what's up, Jehee? Oh, hello, I'm just working on a few things. These are just text messages. What are you working on? Mr. Han is making me watch Victoria the third. I have to text him and update him on her status every two hours. Brush her fur with a golden hairbrush and hand, her, hand feed her fresh strawberries grown from Spain. Wow, this Victoria the third, this, this chinchilla is really well treated. But, but Mr. Han is like kind of like torturing uh, what Jehee. I also have to come up with a new idea for his chinchilla food commercial and or rather I think this is still Jay speaking. I also have to come up with a new idea for his chinchilla food commercial and prepare Mr. Han's notes for the business meeting tomorrow. Oh that's way too much work. Yeah. If only I had coffee or something. I'll make coffee for you. Then Jay coffee. Oh that really sucks, Jay. Yeah, yeah that, that, let's do it. Coffee. What better way to show Jehee my feelings than sending her a call? But don't overdo it. Because if you overdo it, then Jehee will just treat you like just an assistant, and then you're basically assistant zone. I don't want that, so yeah. But this is a start. Do you surely know what this means? Or even provide flowers and a cute handwritten note? After sending it all off, I wait. A few hours later, I get an excited text from Jehee. Oh my god, did you send coffee and dog, uh, coffee and flowers to my dog? I sure did. This adorable handwritten note covered in hearts and encouragement? Yup. 
in before there's a twist, but we'll see. Oh, thank you so much! Of course. This is friendship at its finest. <laughs> Am I friend zoned? <laughs> what? Excuse me, but did you just say friendship? I'm so glad we are new friends. I love making friends, the best of friends. Well, this is a start. I mean, all relationships have to start off with with friends, right? right? All relationships has to start off. Yeah, all relationships have to start off with uh, with friendships. Oh no! Don't worry, don't worry. We're still good. Okay, friendships can turn to relationships, but this is just a start. Other than complaining about work, Jaehee's second most favorite topic is Zen and his beautiful face. Apparently, she's his biggest fan. She's watched every single one of his performances and has it recorded so she can watch it at any time and memorize everything about it. Sounds like a stalker. But she tries to keep it cool by only complimenting and agreeing with everything that he says at her. The next day, Jaehee surprises me by sending me a selfie. She's holding up a new coffee mug. <laughs> okay, is this a sign, a cue that you want me to prepare coffee for you again? <laughs> Nope, I'm not going to do it, do it again. Do you think? Isn't this my cute? Uh, not as cute as you. Shouldn't you be getting back to work? I'm going with this, okay? Mark is cool, but I love that picture of you, Jehi. You're gorgeous. Oh, thank you so much, Gal Pal. Ah. I'm so glad that as girls we can compliment each other's appearances without you being misinterpreted. Okay, the next choice, I'm going to choose a bad one, alright? <laughs> What are you saying? Just love girls, like in a totally friendship way. Wow. I'm not gonna get the smoosher at all, am I? Don't worry, the next choice I'm gonna choose a bad choice. Well, so, what? What? It's seemingly a bad choice. We're just. We're now we're gonna be a tsundere, okay? We're gonna add a tsundere from now on. Oops. Jay is now totally obsessed with all things called. She spirals into researching everything about it and decides that coffee is a true calling in, it, in life. By the end of Jay-Z's route, she de she's decided to quit her stressful job as he means assistant so she can pursue her dreams. We finally get to meet in person at the charity party I've been planning for this entire game. So we're at the end of the route though. Oh, it's so good to finally meet you. She beams a flash pause into her face. I think we're good here, we're doing good. Listen, I know this is very sudden since I just met you on Monday, but I would love for you to move here with me. We can start our own coffee shop and make a life together. Perfect! So it's a success after all! Maybe you can even adopt a dog, or even kids along the way. What do you say? <laughs> so we're on the right track. Is this when Jehi finally admits her feelings for me? Yes, yes, I would love that. Still her sweet job. Alright, I'm not gonna choose this now because if I choose this, then that means friendship, right? I'm just gonna YOLO, okay? <laughs> you know what, I think I'm just gonna take your old position instead. What? Yeah, it can't be that hard. Besides, I want the rich and luxurious life with Jimmy. I can't believe you betrayed me like this! Ah, no offense anymore, bye! <laughs> Let's do Jay's job. Who needs love and friendship when they can have benefits and financial stability? Oh yeah! Oops, not the kind of choice that I was looking for. Well, that was an experience. Well, I mean, I can always go back, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, but, um, well, I'm ready. Yeah, I can always go back. Too bad there isn't, like, a, a way you can, like, go backwards, so... Well... But I guess this is for the better, because it's like this. She only wants to be friends with me. But then she says something about kids and all that, so I don't know. But, oh well. Maybe I'll just quickly save. Yeah, then I'll see you a bit. <laughs> Alright, so I'm back here. <laughs> now let's choose this first choice and then see what happens. Yes, I would love that. I would love to move in with you, JD. I'm so glad you finally admitted your feelings. This is such a magical moment, I will remember this day forever. Then you will say, what? <laughs> Yes, me too. I really treasure our friendship. Friendship? What do you mean, friendship? We are such good friends. I can't believe how much friendship is in this room right now. <laughs> Stupid, man. <laughs> are you kidding? You just asked me to start a life with you. You told me you wanted to adopt a dog and kids. Yes, as friends. What? Jenny and I moved in together, and a few months later, we opened our coffee shop. 
The guys from the chat room come and support us on opening day. Yeah, he is still in denial that she likes girls, but hopefully someday she'll realize I'm the true love of her life. Hopefully, so it's a big ending. <laughs> alright, well that was an experience alright, that's cool. I finish up the rune and decide that's enough magical messenger for one day. Kari still hasn't returned so I check to see what other games she has on here. Nothing catches my eye until I spot Fortnite. Kauri actually tried this? Wait, Fortnite? Another game? Oh, wait. Right, right, right. Right, it's based on that, that very popular game called Fortnite. Yes, okay. <laughs> Except this is the medieval game. Yeah, set in medieval setting. Well, so will I. I get sucked into the game and lose all track of time. If I know it, it's getting dark. Is Kauri back? Oh, it's already evening. I hear some footsteps. The bedroom door opens and Kari walks inside. Hey, I'm back. Tadaima. Oh, Kairi. Yeah, Tadaima. I set aside the laptop and smile. Oh, hey. So everything taken a care of? Yeah. She glances at the laptop. Did you have fun with the game? I've had fun with a lot of games. She must mean mes Magical Messenger. Surprisingly, yes. You didn't tell me it was an Otome? Not really. Well, I'll just say surprisingly, yes, yeah. I actually did. What does that say about me? I mean, it's, it's fine for a guy to love Otome games, actually. It's totally fine, yeah. See? I told you it was fun. But I'm, I don't usually enjoy Otome games. Yeah, I only... I think I guess I kinda enjoy it because there's a girl. <laughs> Root. She costs a hit. Hmm. I'm uh -oh. curious. Which character did you end up going for? Who else? <laughs> I picked Jehi. Of course you would. I've never tried her out though. Why not? Because because you don't want to be a lesbian. <laughs> it wasn't much of a route. She immediately friendzones you forever. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's more of like a, an extra route, you know? I was really looking forward to that route only to be crushed by the power of friendship. Kari laughs and shakes her head. Serves you right. Well, I mean, it's worth a try. So who was your favorite then? Demon. He's so hardworking and cool. Plus, he's a secret soft spot for Of Anna. course, Jimin. Of course. <laughs> but do you love him more than me? <laughs> but he's so cool! Tsundere meets Tsundere, he talks to myself. I don't even know anything about him. <laughs> I guess we'll just choose Tsundere meets Tsundere. Oops, this, I guess this is kind of piss off. Piss off Kauri, but we'll see. Just, 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 it's just in jest, okay? My mouth curves up into a smirk. You like him before, because you guys are basically the same. Kauri turns speed rate. True. Oh, it's totally true. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> you act too cool for MC. You act too cool for me. <laughs> oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> She's done. She sputters. What? Uh, you better shut that. Shut up now, Tristan. He has a secret soft side. You have a secret soft side. Her face flashes. She opens her mouth to reply, but nothing comes out. He dotes on the chinchilla. You dote on your daycare kids. That's kinda different though. <laughs> He's blunt and to the point. You're blunt and to the point. Okay, that's enough. I get it. Alright. He works JT to the bone. And you work the team to the bone. <laughs> that's different. Our practicing is important for the team. Yes, I get it. A chakra. I think I've gotten my point across now. How far did you get in the game anyway? I I've, I've played the whole route. Oh, I finished. Kauri box surprised. What? How did you get so far in a matter of well, hours? Well, I mean, it's just J J C, right? Yeah. It's just a girl's route. It's a bonus route, uh, an extra route. So of course, I I completed it pretty quickly. I don't know. Whenever the notification the container came up, I just hit yes. What? That means you actually spent money. But what? You mean real money or just the in-game money? Are you sure? I don't remember you asking for money. 
Was Ari's card attached to it? Did I accidentally charge her without knowing? Oops. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not that. Not real money. She grabs the laptop and please scrolls through it. Oh, wait. Never mind. Uh, never mind. She lets out a breath already. No money was actually spent this time. My god, I guess. This time? What did you do? She blushes. Well, if it was already unlocked from before, they don't charge again, obviously. It was just a warning prompt or something. Wait, I thought you usually buy a vision of her and 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 that's it. <laughs> why why does this vision of her have like DLC pet uh DLCs or something? <laughs> Wait, so that means Kaori is the one who spent money to play the game. I would have done the same. You spend actual money to romance virtual dudes? Oh, that makes sense. No, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, there are some people who do that, but I wouldn't. Yeah, so um, I actually wouldn't, but yeah. Let me just go for this. I I'll just be honest, you know. <laughs> it wasn't me, but you who was addicted. Oh, oh look at her eyes. A blush deepens. Into relationships, okay? Sure. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> she shuts the laptop and stands. Anyway, we should get going. Um, get going to where? <laughs> I'm automatically intrigued. I caught my head. Where are we going? She greens. To my favorite spot in town. Favorite spot in town? Aren't we going to spend New Year's Eve with your family? Oh, so it is New Year's Eve now. Oh, he shakes her head. I thought we might enjoy bringing in the new year together. Just the two of us. Yes, of course. I mean, it's New Year's Eve, just the two of us is actually perfect, yeah. She looks down, unusually shy. A green spreads on my face. I would like nothing more. Hurry oh, matches my smile. Come on, I'll drive. Alright. I slip into my jacket and shoes, following her outside. Kari goes into the driver's seat and I get into the seat next to her. Soon, we are off. I look around from the car window, it looks like we're in some kind of park. Even so, it's just as bright as the city, the trees are lit up with Christmas lights, and there's some people buzzing and walking about. It takes a while for Kari to find parking. When she does, she scrambles out of the car. You will see the park. Oh, we're back at the ice skating lake. But this time there's decorations for New Year's. Seemingly. I follow her unsure of where we're going. Her pace is a little quicker than normal. I urge myself to keep up, but she's always a few steps ahead of me. Because she's always been the one who's like really fast, right? I mean she also keeps herself fit, right? Yeah. After several minutes go by, I'm really starting to feel the ache in my legs. This land is all flat, but she's going on forever. Are we there yet? No. What? How about now? No! Um. Another 10 minutes go by, finally she halts the stop, making me crash into her. I stumble backwards, just barely catching my footing. She turns around and smiles. We're here. Oh, are we gonna get a breathtaking view here? I blink and look around. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a breathtaking view. It's a perfect way to celebrate the new, the new year. And we might, I think we're probably going to see the fireworks here, right? And with the city in the background. Wow. Yeah. Cool. She's taken me to a more secluded edge of the park. Across from the river is the city. The lights from the buildings shimmer in beaming yellows and crimsons, casting a beautiful reflection across the river. Wow, this is beautiful. She smiles and nods. I'm glad we finally made it. It'll be the perfect view for the fireworks. Yeah, perfect view, perfect view for the fireworks. Oh, so that was the surprise. She nods. Maybe she was actually out with her mother in the afternoon to, you know, like recce this place, survey this place, you know, see if it's, or maybe she already knew about it beforehand. Yeah. This was always my favorite spot. Oh yeah. Them. She knew about it, yeah. But, but in the afternoon, she was really ha having to uh, do some errands with her mom. I'm sure, it, I'm sure it'll be great. 
My dad took us here when I was really little. We had gone into the town to join the crowd for the fireworks, and I got scared. Uh, you? Scared? They were right over my head and so loud! Still can't be tape. I was like four, okay? Alright, alright. <laughs> I chucked her. Anyway, my sisters didn't want to have to miss the fireworks, so my dad took all of us out here. It was so much calmer and quieter. I loved it. Nothing beats, yeah, tranquility and calmness and quietness, peace and quiet. We come here every year. I told them I wanted to show you the fireworks too. But this time it's just for me, special. And the rest just go elsewhere to watch the fireworks, probably among the crowd. Yeah. I slip her hand in mine and give it a slight squeeze. For a moment, we fall into a comfortable silence. You can hear the crowd from the distance, animated and cheering for the new year to begin. After a moment, Kauri glances at me again. I'm really glad you came with me to visit my family for Christmas. It means a lot to me. Of course. Of course. Me too. No, really. This year has been one of the best years of my life because... Of me, right? She hesitates, struggling for the words. Just say of me. I understand. Or we can just kiss her straight away. You don't need to finish your sentence. Her face daily flushes you. This year, I got to meet you. Do you mean it? Just wait until next year. I'm glad I met you too. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, this year, I got to meet you. Well, uh, just wait until next year. What, what does this mean? <laughs> just wait until next year. Well, I'm glad I met you too, yeah? I smile and nod. I'm glad I met you too, Kauri. I can't imagine being with anyone else. Me neither. She beams at me before turning away, fiddling with a piece of red hair. And here comes the fireworks. Suddenly, there's a loud explosion followed by a burst of gold. I need to see a CG of this though. We look up at the sky. Fireworks bloom in and out of the darkness. The cheering of the crowd reaches a crescendo. I glance at Kauri, but she's, lo she's not looking at me anymore. She's looking at the fireworks bursting off into the sky. Colors burst across her face and turns her into a creature of light. That's kind of a weird way to say, but <laughs> turns her into a creature of light? Like what? what? <laughs> Maybe it would sound better to say an angel of light. Yeah, then th that make, kind of makes slightly more sense, but not quite either. There's so much more to Kauri than what meets the eye, you know? Yeah, what everyone else sees. She pushes me hard to do better and keeps me accountable to the team. I remember when she first shared her bento with me. Oh, yeah, the very first time. Yeah, I remember that that scene. Yeah, when and, and Kauri shares like embarrassingly, embarrassingly shares a bento with Tristan. And how I learned you could still be a good cook even if it's healthy. Oh, I remember that too. I remember the first time I saw her face light up when she was with the, with her daycare kids. Our gentle and patient, she was with them. And I remember that night we shared in the glassy glue that was just most recently. Cuddled beneath the blanket, bearing our souls to each other. You forgot that the very night where we spent with Kauri, you know, the yeah, the very first night you spent the very first night you spent with Kauri in a in a hotel, right? Yeah. And that moment when she was there for you, consoling you after you found out about yeah, your dad, you know, truth of what happened to your dad. Yeah. As I look at her glowing beneath the stars, I feel as if she has never looked more beautiful. My insights start to squirm. Your insights? <laughs> the promise ring feels heavy in my pocket. Alright, the all important promise ring, that's right. It's now or never, yes. Yeah. Is this actually called promise ring? I thought it's called promissory, right? Yeah, the promissory ring. Yes, it's now or never. This is the perfect moment. Now. Of course now. Why never? Never then you break up with her. No way, man. Now, now. I take a deep breath. I have a feeling we're actually reaching the end of this vision novel. I mean, I'm, I'm expecting this vision novel to be a pretty short one, but yeah. Hey, Kari? Mm. Hmm? She turns to face me. I dig into my pocket and pull out the promissory ring. It 
dims in the light of the fireworks. Akari's eyes widen. She takes in a sharp breath. My heart pounds in my ears. I didn't prepare anything fancy to say, but suddenly all my feelings for her come pouring out at once. Alright, this is perfect CG we're gonna see. Things between us have been really great. Ever since you came into my life, you have made things so much brighter and cooler. I'm so glad I get to be with someone I share my passions with. I'm so glad I, glad I'm so glad I get to have you by my side. She gives me a curious look, uncertain of what I'm doing. This is a promissory ring. I know that we've only been together for a short time, and I know that what I'm doing is crazy, but it's because I'm absolutely head over heels for you. you know, head over heels crazy for you, Kari. Oh, the promissory ring. With the fireworks in the background, yes, this is the CG. This is the perfect CG to end off this vision novel, yes. Yeah, nothing, nothing's better than this for sure, yeah. Wow. 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 <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No other words describe this than perfect. She looks really beautiful here. I take her hand in mine and slip the, the ring onto her finger. She watches me stunned, speechless. I want you to have this so you know that I'm serious about us. I know we're young and it's too early to think about engagements and all that stuff. So this is a promise from me to you that I will be the best boyfriend I can possibly be. She doesn't say anything for a moment. Her eyes are white and teary, completely focused on the ring. Panic spikes my chest. Just give her time. She's like currently stunned with happiness. Sorry. Again, she doesn't say anything. Maybe this was a bad idea after all. Nah. Also, I think he just going in full force without even asking her how she felt about us. You know, sometimes you just gotta be daring, and this is one of those moments. Just do it. I'm sorry, I didn't even ask you if, you if you were okay with this and was just acting like my dumb self. That seems to snap her out of her thoughts. She hits me in the chest, but there's no force behind it and she lets out a wet laugh. Of course I'm okay with it, idiot! <laughs> yeah, now you snapped out of your thoughts, nice. And she's crying. She laughs again, this time more stunned and happy. A broad grin splits my face. I scoop Kari into my arms and spin her. Yeah, woo! My heart feels so light, I, like I'm walking on air. I would have like grabbed her hand and then just swing around, you know? Yeah. Well, not not swing her body, but like we, we both of us like yeah swing around, you know. The fireworks are booming in my ears so loud it almost feels like I'm underwater. Kari is falling up at me, still teary eyed, with all those blues and violets exploding behind her. She reaches out and binds her arms around my neck, delicate as ivy. Hmm, delicate as ivy. Okay. I bend down as she rises onto her toes. I hear the shouts of the people far into the distance, counting down the seconds. A trail of glitter shoots high in the sky, higher than any of the others. It showers the inky darkness with an explosion of rainbows. The cheers fade into the background and Skari kisses me. Long and sweet. My heart vaults. It feels like how stars must, right before they shoot across the sky. When we pull apart, our breath is ragged and breathless. She smiles and kisses the corner of my mouth. Wait, what? Kisses the corner of my mouth? <laughs> how does one even do that? You mean all corners? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I smile back, brushing the hair from her face. Happy New Year. Omedeto, uh, wait, in Japanese, you say, uh, not Tanjobi. <laughs> uh, Akemashite, Omedeto gozaimasu. Yes, that's why you say Happy New Year in Japanese. Akemashite is like New Year, so, Akemashite, Omedeto gozaimasu. The kiss again as the sky sparkle behind us. This past year has been full of ups and downs. I faced loss, but I also gained love. Yeah, loss as in uh, his father. Kari's strength keeps me grounded. With her guidance and care, I know I can face anything the future throws at me. But as I stand here with her, our bodies entwined beneath the glittering boom of fireworks, I am excited and ready to start this new year together. With Kari. Oh man. Oh. This is perfect. 
Look at this. Oh, man. Yeah. The two of them look at the fireworks. And you see the ring on Tauri's left hand? Yeah. Yeah, then uh, them holding hands. This is so cute. Fin! Yes, finish. This is the classic Japanese way of ending, of saying finish. Awesome. So, this was actually kind of like shorter than expected, but at the same time, I'm also expecting it to be like this. So, oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, this was a uh, quite a uh, quite a short game. Uh, I'm at, well. Let's not talk about the price. Actually, I'm not so sure if this game was worth like about US ten dollars. I think it probably is worth like lesser, but uh, that. But never mind that. That aside, uh, this is a nice little experience. Yeah. Uh, in terms of storyline, though, uh, there's nothing really concrete or what. And and the writing, as I think I said this before, but the writing still kind of suffers from it being like some some parts are just too unnecessary and generic, you know. But like I said before, what I love about Pixel Fit Vision novels. Is the characters and they really deliver with the characters, and I think that also explains why you know Pixar Fate has its own fans. Like it's it has a quite a huge, well not say huge, but yes a pretty dedicated fan base. Yeah, so uh, yeah I can understand I can definitely see why. But but, but um, that being said, uh, I enjoy the whole Curry After Story experience. Yeah, it's a nice little experience just to see uh, how what Curry and you know, Tristan have been doing ever since the end of uh, of Kauri's route in on Ace in Ace Academy. So it's a nice little experience, and I enjoy it. I wonder if there's going to be any other after story, but that depends on whether Pixel Fate wants to make more after stories. Of yeah, make the after stories of the remaining heroines of Ace Academy. You will see whether it's worthy or not. We'll we'll, we'll we'll see, I guess. But if they come up with another after story, I'll definitely check it out. I guess you know. So yeah, alright, so that's it for the, this playthrough of Kauri After Story. Uh, it's a nice little experience and what's next then? Um, currently I'm playing Survivor of the Witch and I'm also going to play another vision novel that I just recently bought from Manga Gamer, I guess. Um, yes, this vision novel, well let me just tell you, uh, give you a hint of what this vision novel is, it's fully voiced. So yes, it's not the art that other vision novel. Yes, um, uh, because I would rather have either a partially voiced vision novel or a fully voiced vision novel. I don't want to have a a, a vision novel that has no voices. Yeah. So, but I I see something interesting about this uh this vision novel that I'm play that recently came out on Manga Gamer. Yeah, and it looks really interesting. Here's a hint, a very big hint. Once I give you this big hint, you will know what this vision novel that I'm about to play after story after story is. Um, it's it's similar to if my heart had wings. <laughs> yes. Well, actually, it's kind of more similar to the to its uh it, to its like uh, why you call another vision novel in the in an alternate setting in the same setting the same setting the Yozora I guess the Yozora Hoshi that one the yeah a, a sky a sky full of stars yes. It's actually more similar to a sky full of stars, but also similar to if my heart had wings. Yes, I'm going to play that in the next uh, after story after story. So look forward to that. I think this will be quite a popular vision novel. I think this is actually I mean that vision the vision novel that I'm about to play. Yeah, after story after story is good. It's it's a going to be a pretty popular vision novel actually, I, and I think it's currently quite popular. So and it that the premises definitely look interesting. Yeah, but. Uh, I'll say more talking about that vision novel when I when I start it uh, in a few days time. So that's it. I'll see you in the next playthrough of any vision novel. Yeah, yeah, whichever vision novel playthrough you have to watch. And if you want to watch my past vision novels, please feel free to do so. I recently completed Ivanica after more than a year, so that was quite an experience. If you want to check out the Ivanica playthrough, please go ahead and do. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, if, if you find any of my content interesting and you want more, please please do subscribe to my channel. Yeah, and support me. Yeah, and alright, that's it. I'll see you in the next Vision Novel playthrough. See you then.